Um, we started looking at in your headphones and headsets because uh, our staple of, of gamers have changed. Um, we're in a situation now where gaming tournaments are played in front of up to 80,000 people. Yeah. People are sitting on stage with like helicopter headsets on them, mm -hmm. very noise cancelling, yeah. with in ear buds. Um, we we started doing a product that would go well with that. Um, when you're sitting on stage and you're wearing that helicopter headset, if you're also wearing like cheap iPod buds, you're not getting a good gaming experience or a good like performance environment for you. That's why that's why we started looking at these. Um, of the sort of run through the, pro the product, it has a flat, non tangled cord, mm -hmm. and it is genuinely a non tangled cord. If I did it with my iPod things, they would be horrible. <laughs> That's it, the non tangled. It's pretty good. It comes with replaceable tips, also as a safety measure if this gets stuck in something and you like yank it. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with two tips one for phones yeah. and Mac. And one for PC that will have like two ports on it. Okay. Um, from a design perspective, it is different than any other in ear that I know on the market because we didn't design it to be necessarily pretty. Not we designed it to be like an ugly girl, but um, most in ear headphones have this fundamental design flaw that they are designed to look really good on pictures. Yeah. The the sad reality of the human ear is that. There's nothing pretty going on here. Like it's all like junk and crap. Everything is like very unpretty. So when you design a product that's just designed to be cosmetically pleasing, that goes into like this mess of an ear, yeah. it, you rarely get a really good fit. I don't know anyone who's like, I can't wait to put on my in ears and like do something. That's really not like the best experience. We designed it to do something else. We looked at medical devices. Hearing aids are a product category that's designed to get out of your way. <laughs> you plug in when you mm -hmm. get up, you take it out when you go to bed, and the less you have to think about the fact that you're wearing it, the better it is. Yeah. They were designed not to be pretty, but to be like functional. Yeah. That's what we've done. We've created a product that you'll put on like this over the ear, and it's designed just to fit into your ear canal. You can simply feel it when, when it's, when it's uh, snug in. It's a very, very comfortable fit. You can go to the gym with these, you can run with them, and, and they'll stay put. Um, the technology behind them are uh, what's called balanced armature, mm -hmm. which is an incredibly distortion-free reproduction of a soundscape. Uh, instead of having a normal drive rate that will like, move, move yeah. and have distortion, it's basically a metal plate that goes up and down and reproduces sound. Mm -hmm. But since the metal plate doesn't move, or doesn't bend, it doesn't bend yeah. yeah, there's no distortion. That means that from a sort of spatial awareness perspective, like you cannot just hear the guy behind you, you're like he's right over there and like two steps up. Yeah. It's it's great for gaming. Um it's probably the best sounding headset under two hundred dollars, um in my opinion. And it'll ship for hundred and twenty nine. So we're very aggressively price point in this. Um what is actually the name of the headset? Uh, Steel Series Flux in your Pro. Flux in your Pro. Uh, one more product, um, the Flux in-ear. Okay. Here we did something completely different. This is a normal driver unit, mm -hmm. so no balanced armature. It's a 6mm driver unit, so basically the entire chamber in here will be a driver unit. Yeah. And they're designed to function differently. You put them into your ear, and because they have the shape that they have, Mm -hmm. You can tuck them in until you feel like a suction effect. Right. They're basically created like suction cups. Nice. Um, so you'll get like this effect of like almost a small vacuum, mm -hmm. and that's what holds them in place. Um, what's more remarkable about this product is we use the same non-tangle flat cord, mm -hmm. but the price point is forty nine dollars. You wow. get a lot of audio product. Very nice. Uh, now does it have um, volume controls also? Yes. Okay. Uh, microphone here. Now, what would you say uh, to gamers who say, well, you know, you technically have one that's premium and then one that may sound low end at 49. Um, 
you know, uh, are you looking at something of you know, being the middle, or are you just looking at those two positions? It's so just two positions right okay. now. And I think in years for gaming is a category that pretty much doesn't exist right now. Mm -hmm. So I think like if we can just establish the category, we'll be very very happy for a long time to come. I think with the price point between one hundred and twenty nine and forty nine dollars, yes. yeah. we sort of cover like a wide range mm -hmm. of stuff. 